Hi, Zoe the Luca here with video number 8 in the series of my top 10 frustrations in multi-level marketing. Okay, frustration number 8 is actually time management and this is something that every new business owner is going to come up against but I found it particularly frustrating because I chose to work from home. I chose to build my business in a home office model and I have family. I have children, Mark and I have five children between us. Yes, I know, it's crazy. Um, but we also had family around us and I was building on a shoestring budget so I couldn't, I didn't have the luxury of setting up a great big office and locking myself away with, with all the modern technology. I had to do things little by little. And what I found was it was really easy to be busy being busy and I have a whole video on this over at my channel if you can have a look. But I would get in, I'd start sharpening pencils and then suddenly, you know, one of the children would scream for something or someone needed the washing need to be done so I'd go and do that and I'd come back and do everything else. So what I needed to do was I needed to employ myself. And this is how I got over this frustration. This is one simple lesson that will just catapult the growth of your business if you get it right. I took some time, importantly, I made time to look at time management practices. I did work through what's called the Personal Productivity Program or PPP. There's books, there's also resources on the web for that. Um, you know, I, I invested about $20 in the book and just went through, read it and put it into action and wow did it make a difference. A couple of things that I had to be really strong on in employing myself. I set myself out a daily method of operation. So this was hour by hour, rather than just having a diary to run the day, I had a plan for the entire week, for the days that I was working, I knew exactly what I needed to do each day and I had a start and a finish time for each of those things. Now to set that up, there's all sorts of books on, on goal setting and time management and again that the personal productivity program really worked well for me. But what I did was I set through with an Excel sheet, um, I made a list of all the things that I had to do in a given week. Okay? I broke them down into the ones that needed to be done at a specific time and day. So things like taking the children to school, picking them up from school, they needed to be done set time of day, you know, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. I went through and plotted them into my hourly gaps in my Excel spreadsheet. I then put in all of the things that needed to be done on a weekly business, and in my business each week, but I actually had some time for, and I slotted that in. I did the same thing for things like family um, responsibilities. So the house needed to be clean, but you know, it didn't have to be 10 a.m. on a Thursday every single week, for instance. So I plotted those in. I did importantly put in some me time, which was really important. Um, and I, I do encourage you to do that. And the last thing I did was looked at my list. I looked at the things that were really flexible. It was kind of nice if they got done. And I allocated them to less productive hours of the, time, of the day. So when I say less productive, I'm not particularly good in the morning. So if I needed to do some reading, I needed to do emails, they needed to be done, but you know, I slotted them in the morning time so it's productive. I slotted them in later at night when it was too late to be calling prospects or training my team on the phone. I put that together, I worked on it, you know, it was a work in progress, did it always work? No, but it really put me into a business owner's mindset and it got me working. The biggest advantage for doing that was I showed it to my family and I taped it to my door. And in fact, in my first office, which was one of our bedrooms, I actually had to get a door put on so that I could close the door with my daily method of operation taped to the outside and that meant I'm working. Um, the children were the ones that actually caught on the fastest, believe it or not, and they let doors close, mums at work. My mother-in-law and my mum, they were more difficult, they turned up at odd hours. So I went to the extreme of actually locking my front door. If I was at work, I was in my office, I was at work. If they turned up and knocked on the door, bad luck, I was at work. Um, it didn't go down too well to start with, but they got the message, they rang, they set appointments, and I scheduled time for them and time when I could really enjoy my time with them. Uh, I got a secondary business line, so I had a private line and a, and a business line coming into my office. And I put an answer machine on, on both. One was an answer machine, one went to voicemail. I had scheduled time for calls. If I had unsolicited calls coming in, they would go to the answer machine. Now I would screen them, but the voicemail was even better because if I wasn't working, those calls were going to the voicemail and I wasn't just subconsciously listening to them and thinking, oh, maybe I should stop cooking dinner now and go and pick that up. I got really organised, regimented with my time. I trained the people around me and in doing so I also trained my team to respect my time. Now the only person that can make this happen is you. So this is a huge frustration in any business owner's life. It has nothing to do with the company, your marketing plan, your sales, or anything else it has everything to do with you.
Okay, so this is one that you need to take some action on. There are some links over at our blog on renegademarketerreview.com that talk about setting up your home business and actually getting into a business owner's mindset. If you'd like additional information or you have comments on this, particular questions, please post it on the comments below this video. Um, I will actually do another video on that information or I'll post the answers to my blog so that everybody can benefit rather than just me giving you an individual answer. I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Remember to click on the subscribe button so you get notification of when those are posted. Have an awesome day.